I started blogging in 2003 before YouTube even existed. It is with heart wide open that I share with you my journey that has taken me from South Korea to now living off grid in the middle of nowhere. What are you doing, my darling? Did we get some beets? Oh, and cherry tomatoes? Whoa. Oh, oh, I see. It's like they're, they're starting to eat it. It's a tunnel. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. How long did it take us to get here? Forever. <laughs> we arrived at 11. But we got a good spot. Mm -hmm. And did we see any animals? We saw one deer that was hiding behind the trees. That's it. It's gonna be a full moon weekend. And uh, I'm tired from driving those uh, six hours non-stop. Because we took only one stop, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we stopped just to put gas in hope. I can hear baguette wine from here. I'm fishing. Baguette. Welcome aboard. See, I don't need that. We're having a problem changing the truck. We changed the position. 
from its original position facing that log I want the bum facing the water but it's hard it's hard to level so we'll see okay my darling the GoPro is on and I gotta keep paddling because I'm drifting over okay go paddling I will find a mermaid. <laughs> she didn't hear that, but she will when she hears the when she watches the video. We came up in the area to see some properties, uh, of course, and uh, we arrived very late last night. Currently, the people who are who were where we ended up staying overnight. They had left just minutes before we arrived because a tree had fallen down almost on their tent. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, we, we took a walk later in the day today or earlier today and we saw that there was a site that was uh, free and better for our needs with baguette. So, we, uh, we switched sites. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied and the truck is leveled. Now so we're spending the day here. Tomorrow we're gonna have a big day. We're gonna do the property tours and then we're gonna try to come back here for the evening and then Monday morning we're gonna go meet, see the last property. Pretty good spot. I get. Come on. Let's see what that is doing. There you are. Where are you going? Huh? I'm going where the fish are. <laughs> He's there, my love. I think he's gonna catch some fishy fishy. What is it? Are you tired now? Huh? Are you tired now? Forget you rest now. Hmm? Daddy's gonna catch some fishy fishy. Uh -huh. Okay, you rest now. No more playing. Stop playing. Look at this boy. Oh my gosh. Look. What a dirty boy. What a dirty boy. Hmm? Are you tired now, Baguette? Tell everyone you've played for maybe... No, no, from the time you woke up at 7 a.m. until now. Mm -hmm, look at that. Look. 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 You finally gave up. Hmm.
<laughs> See, he's so tired. <laughs> oh my god, he finally got tired. <sighs> Look at that. Do you want to have dinner, baguette? Are you gonna have dinner? Huh? Yeah? No? If you sleep now, you're gonna wake us up tomorrow. almost 8 o'clock and the wind has uh, died so I thought maybe it's time to catch some fish so nice out Baguette he hasn't stopped playing fetch in the water that little guy that's crazy I was just almost sleeping in the boat. I haven't seen anybody catch anything. So, maybe there's no fish in here. But the, the loons, I love hearing them. It brings me back to the time when I lived in Sudbury. A day like today is so precious. It's like a total reset. I've forgotten about finding a property, about COVID, about work. It's like none of that existed anymore. There is, is right here, right now. Watermelon sugar, hi. Watermelon sugar, hi. <laughs> it doesn't sound quite like that. It sounds better than it. You can hear it. I haven't had one bite and I haven't seen anybody catch one yet but we see them jump the sun will disappear soon I got a fish it's moving the boat oh, it's nice. Cool. <laughs> it's a nice fish too. He's, I think he's coming back. Finally. I'm getting lonely, my darling. Maybe you want to be away from me. That's why you're not here for a long time. I got a fish. <laughs> Are you showing off? Are you showing off? I'm going to need a bag. Why? And I'm going to need your help because it's in my shoes. Go get a plastic bag. What, what, what is it in your shoes? Go get a plastic bag. I, like it's in my shoes, the fish. You have fish? Yeah. Okay, stay there. Hurry up. <laughs> I did. I'm not joking. I went fishing. You did? But it's amazing. Which one is it? It's a crown. And it can be eaten? Can I see? Smell. <laughs> yeah, that's big. 
The fish of my darling. Hi. That's like little trees, right? Poplar. That that tree is called a poplar. P O P L A R. But look, it's uh, this for the for the sun is not bad. This could be a house site. Well, I just want to keep going to the next corner. Okay, I'm going to get back to Divine and Baguette who are waiting outside the forest. So far today, everything is a no. Yes. Can you, they all have been disqualified for one reason or another? Oh, this is the road we were on before. Yeah, we're turning around. Oh, okay. I thought we we're continuing the road. No, no, no. We're going back because now we went to the furthest point north. But we're gonna go back and try to sleep at the same place as we slept last night. This is the highway. The highway to the edge of nowhere. This is the class A highway. So when you get to nowhere, <laughs> you keep... We didn't see the edge of nowhere. That's where, so, good. Where, so where is the edge of nowhere? That's great. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go to the edge of nowhere. I want to see where that is. Uh, in case we had gone through the edge of nowhere, we would have been nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Superstore. Oh, superior. <laughs> Divine is dreaming. <laughs> what? There's a superstore here. <laughs> Let's go to Superior. <laughs> Babe, I'm going to Superior. Oh, uh, I thought I'm going to Superstore. Do you see any mosquitoes? In Phone Lee, there was a cell phone here. Holy shit, that's nice. I'm gonna fly the drone properly. What? You wanna turn around? I love the silence. Because there's water. We drove a lot today. But we started out and we were beyond that purple truck where that tent is. Yeah, that, not that tent, that tent. And uh, we went our merry way and saw, I don't even know how many properties today. Lots of good like drone footage, so it'll be really interesting to watch all this, but 
like for example the first one actually the first three title which is sold in two different properties we ended up uh, meeting the strata president owner her quad with her gang of strata owners <laughs> yes yes my dinner is ready uh, so she was really bossy and uh, being part of a strata is not really what we want so uh, we uh, we voted that one out right then and there and uh, then we went to see one with a uh, hundred meter of lakefront and that one actually is not so bad uh, what it has going for it it's 10 acres 11 acres but it's like fully matured forest so it's really good uh, there's a slope but the lake isn't so good so that's the that's the problem but we'll see with the drone footage and then uh, we saw another one not so good we went we put some gas and then we went further north and we saw two there the last one was the one uh, with already off grid and already a good system and but it's only 40 acres So that, that one, there's definitely no cell phone. And then we went to see the one from Neil, but that one didn't seem very interesting. We saw the 160 acres, that one, we actually walked in there. We were halfway through, we, I got excellent drone footage. And there's cell service so so far that's the one that has the most potential but tomorrow we're going to see the one from Robert it's a hundred and sixty acres so should be good all right we're gonna eat now our dinner is ready Come in. all three of us thanks to Miss Divine so my nephew could build the fence and maybe some deal like where you paid the materials or you know or or figure out what the going rate is for the fence and yeah he does it with work or something and you pay you know, the rest whatever you know what I mean? that, for, or you both pay someone else to do it yeah like for me like what we're trying to do like we uh, we you know we have 
we're not millionaires, mm -hmm. but we we have enough money. But we gotta think about mosquito heaven. We left that property, the 160 acre from Robert. And uh, there's a lot about it that we like. It's 160 acres. No neighbors. There's a creek in the middle. Um, there's a there's a three kilometer road that needs some upgrade before we can start settling or even going with the truck and on the with the camper on. It'd be too risky right now to get stuck in the mud. But just one spot, maybe two spots. So, but in the spring it would be totally unthinkable. So the road needs like some upgrade. There's several like flat spots that could be, that are already cleared. There's tons of wood on the property. Enough to think that there could be some uh, tens of thousand, maybe 10,000, 20,000. I have no idea, but there's a value there, a definite value. There's also grazable uh, fields, areas that could be rented out to the local farmers. Uh, there's one on the left and one on the right, on the east of the property and on the west of the property. And that's some possibility. But the first phase, let's say we go ahead, that needs to get done is the road. Then the road needs a considerable upgrade and considerable I need From to find... From F to C. <laughs> yes. So I need to find out financially what it means to get it to the grade that we uh, would feel comfortable with. The plowing, I think that's not an issue. It's flat. All that, it's about three kilometers and it's flat. So I don't see that as being a problem at all once I have the proper equipment. So now, once the road is done, we're gonna need to be able to bring in an RV because what we wanna achieve as soon as possible is we wanna stop paying rent in Vancouver. And the only way that this can happen, again, 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 the only way that this can happen is if We've reached a point where Divine feels comfortable enough staying there and working uh, from from there. So that you know, that means that we have a place to take a shower with hot water. We uh, we have electricity and we have internet. So to do all of that, the best route is to get an RV in because currently like our truck camper is too small so we're gonna need an RV and then the moment we cancel our apartment in Vancouver we're gonna need like a place to store stuff so we're gonna need a, 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 a container so what the idea would be at this stage is to get an RV in a 40-foot container so that means the road must be able to handle a big truck like that that carries the 40-foot container. And then we set the container the right angle to have like the, the RV facing south. And then we can build the, the rest of the shelter uh, so to cover the RV properly using uh, one side of the container which will have all our uh, current household items. And then we can have uh, a solar system set up that's gonna be upgradable as we get uh, the bigger house or whatnot. 
So how long it's gonna take us to get to cancel rent in Vancouver, we have no idea. Maybe after winter. But yeah, we wanna, we wanna be able to do that. Early next year. Well, this, and the sooner the better, because the more money in our pocket. I know, we will save the whole rent. That's, yeah. it's like our salary goes up by $1,600 without doing anything. That's almost what the government gives to uh, people, you know? Yeah, September, October, November. We only have four months. To... But if no. it's not done by September, no. October, yeah. Yeah. we have only three months for before winter. Yeah, yeah, that's why right. it's gonna be done before winter. If we, if not, it's gonna be in the spring. On a Monday, on or holiday. Yeah, what the fuck is that guy doing? I was trying to see myself, uh, like taking the steps of like, because we bought the property and that different lifestyle and you know what it would imply and who I would have to become to make it work. I think I need to toughen up. I think I'm gonna need, yeah, I think it's gonna be a little bit tough. 